Hey guys, welcome to the 135th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be making our button look glossy. So, uh, the button that's made by Microsoft, it make, basically just looks like glossy and it looks really good. And if we make it really large, we can see that all that that really is is there's just a bottom rectangle on it that's darker than the top. And that's basically what we're going to be doing. Alright, so. Let's just go back to our button class and draw a rectangle uh, on the bottom right here. So we're just going to say G for our graphics dot fill rectangle. We're going to be using our solid brush, so we're just going to say S. And then the X coordinate of our uh, rectangle will be zero because we want it to be on the uh, left side, right up against the left side here of our button. Then for the height though, we want it to be halfway through the button. So we're going to say the height divided by 2. So if the entire height of this was 10, and we divided that by 2, we'd get 5. So that would be the middle of the button right here. So we'll draw a line basically across here and then down. Alright, so we're just going to say this dot height, or the height of the button, divided by 2. And then for the width, we want it to be all the way across the entire button. So we're just going to say this dot width. And then for the height, we want it to be from halfway down the button to all the way to the rest. So basically from here down. So we're just going to say this dot height divided by 2. So since this is 5 right here, if the whole thing was 10, so we'd be basically be starting at 5. And then we're just going to want to draw the five rest of it. So we'll start at like five, then we go like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just draw all the way to the bottom. And then we'll just have a rectangle halfway down our uh, uh, button right here. All right, but right now if we build, it won't work because um, we use the same brush, which means we're the same color. But instead of creating another brush, we can just change the color of this brush right here. So we can just use the color property inside of the solid brush class to change that. So we're just going to say s.color equals and then we're just going to have it be basically a variation of this control color. So we're just going to say color dot from known color and then we're just going to say known color dot uh, control dark. And that's basically just a darker version of control. So now when we build here we see that yep there is uh, there's a darker rectangle on the bottom of our button. So we're just going to want to change that so it's not as dark. Like as you can see right now, it's pretty dark. So what we can do right here is say dot control light. And you'd think that control light would actually make it lighter on the bottom. Well, basically since it already drew this rectangle right here with a regular control, it's just going to draw on top of that rectangle. So it will actually be darker because it's basically combining the two colors together to make a darker color. So now when we build, you can see that, yep, it's actually just a bit lighter and it doesn't look as dark. Now, there's only one problem though. Since we used a label, you can see like the cutout of the label on our um, gradient or on our uh, glossy part of the button right there, like on the bottom part of it. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change that, but for right now, let's just change the colors around. So, like, let's say if we wanted to make this be mm, color dot blue or something, we can do blue for the basic color. And then if you wanted to make, I don't know, the other color be like a lighter blue, we can do that, like color dot um, sky blue or something. Let's just see how this looks. So, and then we build. Well, I don't know. But yeah, you can just mess around with that. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, so see you guys.